Hey everybody, this is Tara with The Painted Cicada and uh, welcome to the, our journaling workshop. Um, I just like to say hey first before I get started uh, because most of the time the camera is on my desk. So um, here I am. Anyway, um, if you have not, my desk is a mess. If you have not joined me yet for an art journaling workshop, um, it's lots of fun. Art journaling is my absolute favorite. So um, I'm so glad that you are here. Um, that's my puppy. He's saying hi, if you can hear him barking. Um, I don't know what he's barking at, but that's who that is. Um, I've got two dogs. This is also my, my Eddie. He's my super mutt. Uh, anyway. So let's get started. Um, if you have not joined me before, what I do is I've got this fun little ring of prompts that I pull from randomly before we begin. And we have a theme and today's theme is sunset. Um, the prompts that I randomly chose today are use purple, add something hidden, drippage, and add some sparkle. So um, that's what we will be working with. And let me take my face off of here. All right, so, um, all right. This is the journal that I started working with um, for art journaling. And all I've used this for is the workshops. So these are all prompted um, spreads and pages. I'll flip through as you give them a peek. You can see some of them are better than others. And that's kind of how this works. But the idea is really just to kind of have a play, use your supplies in different ways, um, just see what you come up with. And a lot of the fun here is um, seeing how others who use the exact same prompts um, have pages that look so totally different, but beautiful nonetheless. So, This is one of my favorites. Yeah, so that was the last one. That was the sunflower prompt. Um, oh, hi, Krista, how are you? Glad you could make it. Puppies, Krista says hi. They always think I'm talking to them because they're in here with me when I go live and they don't understand why I'm talking. Um, the first thing that I want to do is I'm going to put down some color and I'm going to start with watercolor tonight um, because I'm inspired by the sunset um, and I don't use watercolor often. Um, hi, Vicki. So glad you could join us. Um, really, really dog. Stop barking. Um, because I'm using watercolor, I'm going to put down some tape just to make my edges nice and crisp. Um, totally optional and um, it doesn't matter if you've got watercolors or acrylic or markers um, in art journaling in my art journaling workshops it uh use what you have use what you love this is not about copying it's about uh, using the prompts for inspiration see where they lead you oh a bike ride oh I, mine would probably love to go running like that I always take them on walks, but I think, I don't know, Magnum's a German Shepherd, and I think, I think my Thomas Magnum would pull me over if I had a bike, but I bet he would love running. Me, not so much. All right, so I'm just going to lay down some color, and one of my prompts was use purple, so I'm going to incorporate purple into that color. Um, or into this background here. 
Um, and I'm gonna do wet on wet with watercolor. And that means I'm gonna make my page wet before I put the wet paint on. Oh my gosh, now they're fighting, play fighting in my room, but noisy nonetheless. Hold on, I'm gonna mute myself for a second. It's home to get out of here. All right, so I've got these Dr. P.H. Martin watercolors that I love. I'm going to use these for, I don't know, to make my sunset background, I guess. I'm going to use purple and red and yellow. I just need to be careful not to mix the yellow and purple because that would make brown. Oh, you have a little puppy dead, 20 pounds. I've never had a little puppy. I always end up with big mooses who think they can take over the whole bed and eat lots of food and cause a giant ruckus. I mean, I wouldn't trade them for the world. I think we all end up with the dogs that we deserve, you know, we get just the right ones, but don't tell them I said that because they're kind of crazy. Oh, Glenda, that sounds horrible. What kind of dogs? Oh, can you hear me? What kind of dogs do you have, Glenda? Okay, good. It might be better if you can't hear me. Sometimes I go on and on when I talk. <laughs> but I'm glad you can hear me. Last, here I am. All right, so we're doing wet on wet. So make sure if you're doing this with me, make sure your paper is nice and wet. Um, if you are going to um, blend with acrylic, you can also make sure your paper is nice and wet. Um, but I'm just going to make kind of a gradient back and forth with these bright, beautiful colors. Oh my God. Somebody needs to get yelled at. One minute. Man, they are just full on being crazy in my room right now. Okay. So, you're messing up my flow, guys. No, don't look at me like I'm mean. I'm not mean. You guys are being crazy. Crazy. See, my paper's getting all dry because I had to stop and yell at those two knuckleheads. Can't be crazy like that, buddies. If you work wet on wet, it blends really nicely. Or it should, that's kind of the point, if you don't have to stop and yell at your dogs. And acrylic.
acrylic paint will, if you work with it fairly wet, will get you a similar look as well. Oh my gosh, Glenda, that's horrible. What a horrible way to wake up. <laughs> wet dog. Yikes. Um, I am using watercolor. So this is called um, Dr. P.H. Martin's. Um, I've got two different types of his watercolor radiant. Oops. Um, he's got actually, I think, three, three or four. Um, P.H. Martin's radiant, P.H. Martin's synchromatic, and there's also one called P.H. Martin's hydrus. Um, but they are my absolute favorite. They are definitely a luxury buy. Um, a pack of, I don't know if they're 12 or 15, um, might run about $80. Um, if you buy them individually, they run about between six and $8 a bottle. Um, they last a really, really long time and the colors are super, super vibrant. So, um, if you love watercolor and you're in the market for kind of a splurge purchase, these are fantastic, fantastic. Um, if you are not in the mood for a splurge purchase, um, I really also enjoy these um, pre-marketing pan watercolors. Um, they come in uh, a variety of different uh, themes. This one's the classics. Um, and these work really well. Full price, I want to say these are about $20-ish. Um, somebody did say, I saw recently, somebody said Hobby Lobby has a lot of them on clearance. So if you're a Hobby Lobby shopper, you can um, check that out. I have not been there to see. Yes, Krista, Let's Make Art is fabulous. I actually, I have their purple, their dandelion purple. Um, I love Let's Make Art. I think their mission is fantastic. I think they have um, just an amazing spirit about them. And um, I am not a pro at watercolor by any means. And I love that they offer their tutorials for free. So um, the, the paint that I said Hobby Lobby had is um, it's in the, like the Tim Holtz mixed media section. Um, it's called Prima Marketing. Let me hold it up there. The Classics. Um, if you go to my website, paintedcicada.com, I do have um, like a curated uh, recommended supply list, and it's got all my favorite supplies, and all the, the watercolor brands are on there. Um, you certainly don't have to use, you know, order through my, my website or my list, but um, sometimes it's nice just to... Um, have that list is um, so you know the brands and all that all that good stuff you guys are asking some good questions <laughs> Glenda Glenda said earlier that her boxer jumped in the pool and came to bed with rocks and mud and a piece of a tree <laughs> it's hysterical oh so um so my boy Eddie this is Eddie right here um my husband calls him our Muppet, and uh, we just did a DNA test on him for fun, and it came back that he is part, he's like a super mix. He's part boxer, part collie, part Labrador, part uh, pit bull, part beagle, and part something else. I don't remember all the things. There's so many different things. Um, but I thought it was funny that he's a boxer because look at this guy. He does not look like a boxer at all. But Glenda talking about her boxer made me think of that. Anyway. Oh, Debbie, I'm so glad that you have their watercolors. I really like the dandelion watercolors. I prefer liquid watercolors over the pan um, tenfold. So... Um, and I, I think when I got, when I was following Let's Make Art, um, I, I don't think they had their line of watercolors out fully at that point quite yet. So, 
Like I only have them when I buy their um, their lesson boxes, which are well worth it. They have lots of really beautiful, beautiful lessons. So check them out. Oh no, <laughs> Vicky! I love your cats. They get into your brushes. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I often. Um, now I, I've recently decided to stop selling my artwork. Um, and, and, but I used to like make it a goal to sell my artwork all the time, you know, make a little money on the side and, um, pretty much every piece of art I had, had fur in it, either dog fur or cat fur. I've got a cat too, but, um, my cat is more well-behaved. He likes to just mind his own business. He's got like a seven layer cat tree and that's where he is 90% of the time. He also really likes my kids, which I think is weird because they're, they're kind of crazy with him, <laughs> but he hangs out with my kids a lot. All right. So I used the pump prompt, used purple. I added that to my background there for my sunset. Um, and the three prompts that I have left are drippage, add something hidden and add some sparkle. I think for my add something hidden, um, I didn't know where I was gonna go tonight. I knew it was gonna be a sunset because that was the theme. Um, I think I'm gonna add maybe like a beach or like a horizon line and some land at the bottom. So I am going to dry this quickly. And then I think what I'm going to do is before I add that, um, that base there, I am going to, I'm going to write some stuff and that's going to be my add something hidden. Oh, see, there's a little piece of fur right there. Vicki, I'm with you. I got some fur too. Debbie, congratulations on selling your first piece. Oh, I have to show everybody. Debbie sold her first piece today, this week, she says. That is fantastic. Congratulations. I love it. You're a fantastic artist. So I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. All right, so for me, something hidden. Let me find a, I think I'm just going to go Sharpie, y'all. Yes, Vicki. The cat adds DNA. Let's just hope you're not like convicted of a murder or something based on your cat's DNA in a painting. That's something you'd see in a movie or something. Like I sold my painting and it had my DNA in it. All right, so I'm just going to do some writing. Um, Maybe, I don't know, if you're going to do this, maybe just write something good that happened to you this week. So Debbie sold her first piece. That's what she could write about. Um, I'm just going to add some scribble writing. Oops. Still a little bit damp. No, come back. Yeah, I hate when that happens. Stupid Sharpie. I don't think I have any more thin Sharpies either. Dag nabbit. Arg. All right. I'm not dry enough. <sighs> so 
Oh yeah, I ruined many a Sharpie this way, guys. <laughs> I don't learn. Oh my gosh. Come on. So this is going to be, um, this writing is going to be my something hidden. these prompts quickly today okay so the prompts I've used so far are use purple and this is going to be my something hidden but I need to hide it um, so let's go drippage 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 I am going to let's see okay so I've got this India ink um, which is just kind of like black pen ink um and i think what i'm gonna do is probably other than make a mess um i'm gonna use this as my drippage so uh -oh. um i don't know maybe i could use this to drip the horizon line I don't know, this is really messy, but let's see what happens. If you've got acrylic ink, you could use acrylic ink. Like I want it to drip, but I don't want it to make a giant kerfuddle on my desk. a less messy option would be to have used black watercolor or maybe even just acrylic but what whatevs I'm just going for it mess or no mess This is my drippage. things just don't behave the way you think but that's all right I'm kind of I'm feeling okay about this I'm a little worried about my tape line since I put so much liquid there but we'll see we'll see what happens well you've got bleeding too I don't know you know Bob Ross says happy accidents I try to embrace that but it's hard when you're Trying to make something look really pretty. All right, so add something hidden. I did that. Use purple, I did that. Drippage, I did that. My last prompt is add some sparkle. I don't think I'm there yet. There's just not enough in this. 
in this image. Really? Magnum, come here. Come here. What are you doing? You're creating a ruckus. Do you know that you're creating a ruckus? Do you care? Quit being crazy. Or better yet, go be crazy in the other room. I don't know. What should I put? Not going to be mad about it. There's the spirit. Maybe I'll put some... Ooh, I can splatter some stars up in the sky. Maybe I'll do that. All right, so I've just got white acrylic, and I'm just going to... Put this on my desk. I snagged one of these today. This is my treat for after. <laughs> What's in my way? All right, adding some water to white acrylic. And then I'm just going to tap. Oop. Okay, well, that was chunkier than I had anticipated. Let's see if I can get a finer one. Here we go. That's what I was looking for. All right. All right. So I've got some stars. Thank you. I don't know what else I should add. Maybe I need some more mountains. Um, let me think. I think vintage complexion. All right, here in this, this is another one of those Prima palettes. This one is vintage pastels, but this one's got a gray in it. I think I'm just going to add a little, a little bit of gray, um, it's like a secondary row of mountains, like there's more in the back. I've just got a lot of space to fill up and I don't have a whole lot of um, ideas. Ooh, a moon would be cool, too. I could add a moon.
Oh, have a great evening, Glenda. Thank you so much for hopping on. I am going to add in a moon up there, I think. See if I can get this Sharpie to work again. Ooh, my poor Sharpie. I think that one has bit the dust. Bummer, bummer. All right, I'll use a Posca. I know what I want to do for some sparkle. So, um, I was using, I've been on this kick lately where I have been using my enchanted shimmers. I don't know if you guys have these. Um, but I love them. Okay, here is magenta, violet. And gold. I've got these um, enchanted. Ooh, let me get one with sparkles. Magenta's got sparkles. Okay, so they have a line called um, Enchanted Shimmer. And um, they have Enchanted Shimmer Sparkle and just Enchanted Shimmer. I've got some of both, I think. Magenta, magenta. Green, I don't want green. I know I have that gold in a sparkle. Oh, here it is. And then I'll use the violet. Oh, do I have violets? I don't know. Ooh, I have this one. I'll use this one. Okay. So, um,. Deco Art has these. So I've got a holographic illusions and enchanted shimmer. And I'm going to put them across the sky as if maybe they're like um, a little Aurora Borealis ish kind of thing. So that's going to be my sparkle. And remember, guys, um, if you create step by step along with me, that's totally cool. But um, you can take these prompts and use them however. They make sense to you. So I can't wait to see how you guys interpret these and do the sparkle and all the good stuff. And I am not going to, let's see, I don't want to go crazy with it, but I do want it to be um, kind of obvious that it's there. All right, so I'm going to use this holographic illusions first. I'm just kind of spreading it across the stage. And watercolor, unless you seal it on the background, will lift a little bit. So I just have to be careful not to kind of overbrush with it when I'm adding this acrylic on the top. So that was just the, this is called crystal ball. It's kind of a, <laughs> Vicki, it's okay to copy. It's not, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. There's some artists who are like, no, always do your own thing. I really enjoy just sometimes, I don't know if it's just like practice or, 
I don't know though. Sometimes it just feels good to get your stuff out and play and not have to think about it, you know? I really enjoy one of my favorite things is those wine and paint nights. And I realize, you know, those aren't for everybody because they are, you know, there's a lot of, you know, you just are copying, following directions, but I don't know. I like it. I like to just appreciate a process and just kind of go for it. Not have to, not have to think too hard about what to make. This is super hard to see on camera, but it is really pretty in person when it dries, like all the white kind of disappears and it just leaves this really pretty iridescent sheen. to have some sparkle. Whoa! Yuck. Help! I just see black across my page. Emergency! Emergency! So that was my sparkle. I agree, Vicki. I think when you just sit down and, you know, you get there with your stuff and your paint, even though you may be following directions, like it's ultimate, your ultimately your own decision. Like, are you going to add some, some pizzazz? Are you going to add a little bit of this, a little bit of that? change the color or, you know, those little, little things we do. All right. So this was one of my faster, um, art journaling workshops, I think, but I'm happy with this. Um, I know it's so hard to see on camera, but in person, like it on camera, it just looks like there's some, I don't know, sticky stuff on there in person. It's just this beautiful iridescent shimmer <laughs> that is just not showing up on camera. Um, now I'm going to try to take this tape off and I don't know how well this may have worked. Oh yeah. I was not careful with my edge. Look. But the beauty of this is I can just go around my edge with a black Sharpie and that's probably what I'll do. Ugh. Usually when I put that painter's tape, I get a nice, beautiful edge. I've got this chisel tip Sharpie, and I use this for emergencies just like this one. So I can just go right, probably should be using a ruler. There was just like the prettiest watercolor blooms that came out underneath this tape and I'm covering it up. I feel kind of guilty. happy with how this page turned out. This is um, 
very different from the route I usually go. I do kind of like it. I like how it turned out. I don't usually pull out my watercolors for my art journaling workshop. So I was feeling something a little different this week and I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I picked sunset because that's what inspired me to get those watercolors out. And I don't play with them nearly enough. Ooh, the Sharpie is strong. If you hear a big thud, it's because I passed out over here from the smell of the Sharpie. this edge or something instead of going bonkers with the sharpie but too late now it is what it is my husband hates when people say that it is what it is but there's no rules in art and I do what I want that's just how it works Well, while I'm finishing this up, um, I do want to invite you to um, the next um, art journaling workshop, which let me look it up. I didn't even do that. I'm such a slacker. So if you go to my website, The Painted Cicada, um, you can register for the next art journaling event, which um, is not until October. The theme is happiness. I remember that because, oh, okay, it's October, Thursday, October 14th. Um, and we'll be pulling a new set of prompts. Um, the theme is happiness. So we're going to go in a totally different direction. Um, if you register ahead of time, I do email out those prompts um, at least 30 minutes before our class, although I try to do it a little earlier in the day if I can, so you know um, what the prompts are. Um, if you pre-register, you get those. Um, so October 14th, theme is happiness. I would love to see you all back then. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. This is what I ended up with. I'm pretty happy with it. I love, um, I love how the the mountains there cover up my scribble writing. That makes me super happy. Um, I can't wait to see what you create. So please, please, please share it with me. Um, you can share it by tagging the Painted Cicada or um, I would love it if you joined uh, Mixed Media Crazy Art and Share. Um, it's a Facebook group that I created for everybody to share their stuff. So um, whether or not you create it with me, with another artist, all on your own, um, I'd love to see it. It's my favorite part of teaching is seeing what everybody comes up with. So uh, share your work with me. And uh, thank you guys so much for joining. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Glenda, Krista, Debbie. Um, anybody else who hopped on and I did not get to see you or say hi to you. I'm so glad you joined me and I'll see you next time. Good night, everybody.